Hello everyone, and welcome to what is something of a special episode of Project Yayham. Um, because if you're watching this on the day it came out, and if I did my fucking math correctly, um, this episode's coming out on my birthday! Yay! And we get to talk about one of my favorite characters! Yay! So, uh, yeah, welcome, I'm Project- I'm- I'm Mixer Casual- Cas- Mixer Casual? This is Project Gayham, and look at this icky boy! What have we here? Oh, look at that! Yeah, you know I'm a new servant! You have no eggs. I know, it's tragic. Of course. Um, yeah, so, um, you may recall last episode we met Quaylag, the icky spider boss who tried to kill me. Meet her sister, who's not doing too great. Um, and I'm going to equip a ring now. You may recall this ring from my starting gift. And it allows me to do this. I can now actually talk to this lady and understand her. Normally, um, if you talk to her, Um, so normally, normally if you try and talk to her without that ring, you just get silence. There's nothing. But if you have that ring on, she thinks that you're her sister, Quaylag, who you killed. Um, and you find out that that is actually a tragic thing. Because this, uh, I don't know if she actually has a name. She's, I believe she's just kind of the fair lady. Uh, and you may notice that she's not doing great. She was another one of these sisters of, um, uh, witches of Isolith. Um, and, uh, she saw that everything, like, she got turned into a spider and then said, you know what, there are folks that have it fucking worse. Uh, and so she went out into Blight Town and used up basically all of her life juices, um, and more or less killed herself um and shriveled herself to that sorry state where she can't move where she's dying um and she is the leader of a covenant um which actually i'm going to join up right now even though i'm not going to stay with them um uh enter covenant Um, and what this covenant does, um, is make you fucking cry. So the covenant is the Chaos Servants, and it is another PvE covenant, not PvP, PvE. Um, and basically, members of that covenant give her humanity. They feed her soft humanity in the hopes of prolonging her life. She is going to die, no matter what. That Like, she used up herself too much to be... to, to live anymore. Um, but, because she is one of the... Like, few just wholly good characters, basically? As far as I know, anyway. Um. Uh. There are those who try and keep her alive to kind of honor what she has done and whatnot. Um. And so, because, uh, consuming a humanity heals you mechanically in this game 
the same happens for her to some extent. The damage is too great to actually fully heal her and bring her to, like, alive. But... Oh shit! You're here? Uh... So that lady there is, um... The, like, top-tier pyromancy trainer. Um... And I guess someone I summoned had a top-tier pyromancy flame, because that's the only way that she shows up. Um, but yeah, anyway, so, um, the Chaos, uh, the Chaos Servants help out the Fair Lady by giving her humanity to prolong her life. That's what Quelag was doing. That's why Quelag attacked people. That's why Quelag tried to kill you to acquire whatever humanity she could from you to help save her sister's life. Or, again, not even save, prolong. Um, and it's sad. Um, like, hopefully I don't need to explain that, because that's fucking... That's fucking sad. Um, these slugs, by the way, are the ones I was talking about a few episodes ago. These things. Um, they suck, and I don't want to deal with them, but I'm going to have to deal with them. Um, fuck, I'm using the wrong shield. Um, uh, but, um... So you also may recall from a couple episodes ago that I fought an a, a, uh, NPC invader called Kirk, Knight of Thorns. He is a Chaos Servant. He is not just invading you to be a dick, um, like most invaders. Um, he is invading you, like he invades you to try and get humanity to feed to her so that she, a genuinely good person, may live just a bit longer. Um, and actually, after you've killed him, I believe three times he invades you? Uh, and after you've killed him all three times, you find his corpse there, and that is how you learn that that's what he was doing, because he... He's lying there dead. Fucking stop. Attack. Buttons. Press. Go. Um. And that is why, actually, uh, Kirk, Knight of Thorns, is actually one of my favorite, um, NPCs. Even though he's a, you know, invader and kind of a dick about it because he's an invader and they're all kind of dicks about it. Um, he is doing it kind of for a good cause. Um, because, again, she's genuinely one of, like, the few good characters. Oh shit, I'm actually getting summoned! Oh man, what a birthday! If it is in fact my birthday, I think it is! Oh shit, Necronom Noms! What's up? Hello! Hugs everyone! Hey Alfred! All right, now we get to watch this cutscene again, because everyone loved that cutscene. Everyone loved the titty spider. It's actually a fair amount to be said regarding Koilag's design and um, sexuality in that, you know, where lady bits and stuff would be, there's instead a giant lava spewing spider. Um, I'm sure Freud would have a fucking field day. 
Um, but, um, Oh wow, that actually hit her. Um Hey guy, sorry. I don't really have any weapons or armor that can survive her spider lava. So um But yeah, so um Now that you know what this fight is about and how she is kind of just hey well what is it uh she's kind of just you know trying to help her sister dude guy necro dropped something they dropped something pick it up you fool you fool um Oh, that's useless. I'm bad. Um, but yeah, it's it takes on a different light. Um, it's one of those lore things that like is like, I mean, let's face it, all Dark Souls lore is super easy to miss. Um, which to some extent is the point. Um, but that like is particularly one that's like super easy to miss because it requires you to like to know anything about it kind of requires you to um like have the ring which you either get by um what's it called um picking it at the start when it specifically says, like, oh, hey, by the way, this literally does nothing. Not true, but, um, it still says that. Uh, and so you'd be forgiven for assuming it does nothing and not picking it. Um, or you can get that, um, you can get, um, actually, I'm just gonna light that and run. Um... Oh, sweet. Someone just fucking kindled this shit twice. Thank you. Um, but yeah, you can get the ring uh, through trading with the crow, which I... Act three times! Shit, yeah! Uh, which I actually didn't do. I don't know if I have anything worth trading. Um, but, um... I'm pretty sure you need to give, like, a boss soul or something like that. Like, something actually notably valuable and most people won't think to do that because again even if you know that that's what it gets you like who cares it's it's a ring that does nothing right um wrong um but yeah so that's why uh Quilag and Quilana and uh, the fair lady and all that stuff are some of my favorites um and also, the Ceaseless Discharge, which, uh, <laughs> you might recall, he was guarding a set of armor. Um, let's, uh, fucking look over at that. Um, Goldhemd, worn by the witch Quilana of Izalith, mother of pyromancy and daughter of chaos. So, that's who he was look- whose corpse he was looking over. Uh, and why he attacks you when you go to pick it up. Because, you know, that's kind of fucked up that you just dropped his sister in front of him. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, I, I know I haven't been actually doing much lore shit, um, for this playthrough, um, And that's because I get distracted and because there's a lot of shit that I don't specifically remember offhand. Um. Wait. No, I couldn't have been grave lorded. What? What? G 
game... Okay, so now I'm gonna explain a whole other thing. Um, so there's another covenant you can join. Um, called the... I guess just Gravelord Servants. Uh, I'm blanking on a lot of shit. Uh, and basically they... They follow uh, Gravelord Nito and all his stuff. Um, and... They don't actually directly invade you, if I recall correctly. What they do is, um... They make it so that... Your game becomes harder. Um... Like... Uh, there are more enemies, uh, there are special enemies that show up. Um, and it's harder, um, until you, like, in- you counter-invade them, basically, and kill them, uh, which, you know, is difficult. Oh, that's shit I'm gonna need to talk about, but not right now, um, because I'm already talking about a thing. Um, so, um... The Grave Lords um, are bad news. Um, or the Grave Lord servants are bad news. Um, but what confused me about that message is that I'm like 90% sure that they can't fuck you up, fuck you up unless you're in New Game Plus, which I'm not. Um, maybe like they can. Maybe it just doesn't have an effect unless you're in New Game Plus? Oh no, um... I could have sworn that, like, I've never seen that message before. Uh, largely because I've basically only played regular, I, I've never really done New Game Plus. At least not very far, um... But, I've, I've never seen that message before, and... Certainly not on just a regular game. Um, but, um, yeah, I guess uh, before I forget, oh shit. Well, there's my first death in a while, actually. Um, so, I'm pretty sure I'm still maintaining notably better than, uh, one death per episode. Like, sticking to less than one death per episode, which, if I can maintain that, I will be fucking happy. Um, sucks that I'm no longer human. Hopefully I can get those two humanity back, though, so it won't even be that big a deal. Um, but, um, alright, um, so I guess I'll pick up next episode, uh, talking about the sealers, um, because I just noticed what time it is, uh, but first let's see if I can get my, before we end this episode, let's, let's see if I can, in fact, get my shit back, uh, because hopefully I can, but if not, it's kind of whatever. Um, come on, come on, stop that. I hate mosquitoes, both in game and out. I hate mosquitoes. Fuck those bugs. Don't fuck a bug. Why would you fuck a bug? Um, hey. So where the shit are my souls? There they are. Alright. We got them. Woo! Good job, us. Um, but alright. Uh, actually, rather than... You know what? I'm just gonna fucking... Homeward bone out of here. Um, but okay. Um, so. 
Uh, with that, uh, thanks for tuning in, everyone. I'm uh, Mixer Casual. Um, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll see you next time for more Praise the Sundays. Uh, bye bye Hug. Hug. Anyone? Anyone hugs? Okay. See ya.